Good morning. This is Saturday, September 2nd. I'd like to start off by saying I'll see you at church tomorrow. I know it's Labor Day weekend, but if you can make it, I encourage you to come up to church. Tonight, uh, Today's devotion is a life of pure and holy sacrifice. This is John 7. He who believes in me, out of his heart will flow. Jesus did not say, he who believes in me will realize all the blessings and the fullness of God. But in essence, he who believes in me will have everything he receives escape out of him. Our Lord's teaching was always anti-self-realization. His purpose is not the development of the person, which our world is riddled with today. Everybody wants to focus on self. His purpose is to make a person exactly like himself, and the Son of God is characterized by self-expenditure. That means self dies. If we believe in Jesus, it is not what we gain, but what he pours through us that really counts. God's purpose is not simply to make us beautiful, plump grapes, but to make us grapes so he may squeeze the sweetness out of us. Our spiritual life cannot be measured by success as the world measures it, but only by what God pours through us. And we cannot measure it at all. I don't want to measure it. I just want it to flow freely. I don't want to even worry about what, what comes out of me or how much comes out of me. It all belongs to God. When Mary of Bethany broke the flask of very costly oil and poured it on Jesus' head, it was an act for which no one else saw any special occasion. In fact, there were some who said, why was this fragrant oil wasted? That's Mark 14. But Jesus commended Mary for her extravagant act of devotion to him and said, wherever this gospel is preached, what this woman has done will be told as a memorial to her. And now 2,000 plus years later, we're still preaching on it in great passion. Our Lord is filled with overflowing joy whenever he sees any of us doing what Mary did, not being bound by a particular set of rules, but being totally surrendered to him. And the question I wrote in the margin is, are we totally surrendered to him? God poured out the life of his son, that the world through him might be saved. That's John 3. Are we prepared to pour out our lives for him? He who believes in me, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water and hundreds of other lives will be continually refreshed. Now is the time for us to break the flask of our lives like Mary did, stop seeking our own satisfaction, and pour out our lives before him. Our Lord is asking who of us will do this for him. Now is the time, I love that phrase by Chambers. He wrote this almost a hundred years ago, and it's just as applicable to our world today, if not more so, than it was then. He says, now is the time for us to break off the neck of the alabaster and just pour it freely wherever God asks us to. Let's pray. Father, I pray today that you'll give us the courage we need to not be self-focused. Even well-intended self-focus is still self-focus. But Lord, let us break the neck off the alabaster jar and pour it wherever you call us to pour it. And we'll do so in your name. And let us be free, Lord, that we cannot measure what comes out of us that's through your hands. We just stand and become the conduits through which you flow. Give us the strength for these things, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.